coming down the middle as our heroes are running this way and this way. Love the Russos. I remember them the first couple days on Winter Soldier. They really felt like the new kids on the playground. But everything they said they were going to do, they delivered on. Their attitude kind of breeds this sort of lightness on set. <laughs> okay, let's do one more. They're the filmmakers that took the Captain America series and elevated it with a Winter Soldier. You gotta know, Cap. This That's is a person. Yeah. And then you <laughs> That then did it again with Civil War. That film is gigantic. This is gonna be a great shot. We were midway through production on Civil War and we saw the amazing job that Anthony and Joe were doing, handling all these different characters, telling this very unique storyline. It's going kind of this way right now, and then yeah. the window's gonna shatter. Well, then... We knew where we wanted to head with the next Avengers film, and it was then that we started talking to them about coming from Civil War on to Infinity War. We had no time to settle between Civil War and Infinity War. As we were conceiving and, and executing Civil War, the end of that movie was very much a setup for what these movies would be. We always had that sense of that. Even not having a break, I think we're able to move forward because there is such a continuity in the narrative. Infinity War. The scope of the film, I think, is unrivaled. And really, the only way the film could be made was in the hands of Anthony and Joe Russo. That is an E-plus version of the shot. I was really blown away by how culturally powerful it was. I've never seen a reaction like that after a movie. Infinity War takes people on an epic quest that does everything from entertain and delight you to devastate you emotionally. The success of that film is certainly a testament to the Russo brothers as a directing team. There's no doubt it was not an easy task. You look at Infinity War, you're in the hands of master filmmakers. It, it, it is truly remarkable. Slow it down just to here, and it just turn it into a little bit of a... Yeah, sure. You know, yeah, like, yeah. I'm, getting, I'm gonna get, you know, yeah. give, give yeah. it a little sure. look and then go okay. with it. Okay, here we go. We talk a lot about the culmination of Avengers Endgame. We wanted to do a great finale that not only had the spectacle worthy of Infinity War, but with sequences and scenes and character interactions that could only be done with Joe and Anthony. They're the only directors that could handle this many characters in doing this ambitious of a story. That needs to pay off every film that we've ever made in one climactic conclusion, while at the same time introducing an entirely new direction for the future. When we were thinking about these two Avengers films, we came up with this idea, let's shoot them together. And it seemed like a great idea at the time, but it's impossible to juggle one story and the idea of two stories this complicated, figuring out what they are, how they intertwine. The Russos are so adept at handling complicated storylines. You know, after, after the camera whips to you, yeah. sort of take in the group for a beat and then ask where it's Fury. You have to understand what makes each character unique, what special qualities they bring to it, how they can shine. It's pretty amazing watching these brothers like create these amazing, powerfully epic tales. Yeah, yeah, we'll that <laughs> well, that'll just be the badass delivery. You feel very, you know, safe and taken care of, and and at the same time, you feel like you can contribute. I'm clearly charting the yeah. course, yeah. but if you just come in and start charting the course, yeah. you're like, uh, are we going somewhere yeah. to? The magic trick is that they're working with so many actors that have, you know, their own relationship to the characters that come from their own sort of parts of the universe. And to make that all into something that feels cohesive um, is incredible. So it's all in one piece. So it gets it's focused like, at the end of it. Boom. Go back yeah. to the stage. They have done the unthinkable, really. I mean, it's not just two movies back to back. It's the two biggest movies of all time. And they've been at the helm the whole time without fail. They love these characters, and they know these characters inside out. Anthony and Joe, they've essentially been on a job for six, seven years now. And I, I love them, and they love the Avengers. Joe and I have always loved to figure out how do we take the character, and how do we take the audience, and how do we take ourselves on a surprising journey that is, is not holding anything back. As you progress through films like that, your job as directors gets bigger and bigger. We really have an amazing team around us that allow us to focus on the bigger picture. And so we're, we're very happy with this experience. Hi there, here's today's daily fact. All the films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe are split into bigger phases in which groups of films are linked to one another and in which characters make cameos in other movies. 
The first phase began with Iron Man, the second one with Iron Man 3, and the third one began with Captain America's Civil War. It is currently ongoing, although producer Kevin Feige said that this concept will probably change for future films. Remember to click below to subscribe or on the side for more great content.